I welcome you this evening to Let Us Pray session on Lagoon Radio and Lagoon Television on behalf of the Right Reverend Dr. Humphrey Bamishebi Oluma Akai, our diocesan and missioner in the Diocese of Lagos, Anglican Communion. I am the Venerable Follower Shore Oluwa Agbelusi, serving as the Vicar of All Souls Church, Lekki, and as Jikin of Lekki as Jikinri. Let us pray. Father, Speak through me to your people. Glorify yourself in our lives. May our evenings always be better than our mornings. And may we enjoy your rest on every side. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Please turn with me to the epistle of Paul to the Romans. Chapter 8, verse 11. Romans chapter 8, Verse 11, but if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies through his spirit who dwells in you. The spirit of God who raised Jesus from the dead lives in you. That is the New Living Translation version. And just as God raised Christ Jesus from the dead, he will give life to your mortal bodies by the same Spirit living within you. The Spirit is important in the life of man. And we know that man is made up of spirit, soul, and body. Events of life of man are controlled by the Spirit. This is why being a Christian is being led by the Spirit. In order for resurrection of Jesus to do us any good, we have to receive the Spirit of God into our hearts. The content in the spirit of man determines its quality of life and welfare. 
That's why Romans chapter 8, 16 says that the Spirit Himself bears witness with our spirits that we are children of God. The connection between the Holy Spirit and our spirit confirms our way and our status in the kingdom. Now, resurrection is a work of the Holy Spirit. And this is one of the things he does. He raised Jesus from the dead and he will do the same for all who are in Christ. And therefore, as the Spirit raised Jesus, the Spirit is capable to bring to life anything dead in any aspect of our life, our nation, or our endeavors. And so shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus. Now listen to me now. Everyone is controlled by one spirit or another. Man can never be empty in the spirit being, in the spirit mind. Remember what Jesus Christ said about that man with the unclean spirit in Matthew's Gospel, chapter 12, verses 43 to 45. That when the unclean spirit goes out of the man and goes to a dry place seeking rest and finds none, the same spirit will say that he will return to his former house where he came from. So that when he gets there and finds it empty and sweat put in order, then he goes and takes with him seven other spirits more wicked than himself. And they enter and dwell there. And the last state of that man is worse than the first. So at every point in time, man is not empty spiritually. If he is not controlled by the Holy Spirit, is controlled by any other spirits. Some are controlled and are occupied by the spirit of sorrow and sadness. Their case may be because of reasons that could have brought heaviness on their spirits. Like what happened to the women when they wanted to go to the tomb of our Lord Jesus Christ. In Luke's Gospel chapter 24, they went to the tomb with heavy spirits and worry, but they returned with great joy. Because the resurrection power that raised Jesus, the spirit that raised Jesus, had made something possible and the testimony they met at that place. And with this news, something happened in verse 11 of Luke's Gospel chapter 24. The people that listened to them, they did not believe their words. They seemed to be like nonsense. There is someone listening to me today. Because the spirit that raised Jesus from the dead lives in you. People will hear your testimony and it will be difficult for them to believe in the mighty name of Jesus. Today, some people are also controlled by the spirit of discouragement and disappointment. There is also the spirit of I cannot. Run away from those that are occupied with the spirit of I cannot at this time. They are probably saying things like nothing worked. For Nigeria or Nigerians, when there was no lockdown, why do you think it will work now that there was that coronavirus? Paul told the people at Rome, in the same, this text today, that the Spirit of God who raised Jesus from the dead lives in you. Don't listen to any negativity. I am bold to say that this same Spirit that was responsible for the raising of Jesus is in you. Nothing dead can spoil your testimony. Don't let anything break you or wound you. God is saying to you this evening, you are loaded. You are too loaded to be pitied. You are loaded and you are supposed to be envied. So, the spirit of Jesus from the dead is in you. Let me remind you that anyone that brings negativity to you, Answer them by saying, when they are saying casting down, your person is lifting up. This is not living in denial, but rejecting and disallowing anything to cons consume you that is not of God. Now, it is not impossible that you have allowed some people with negative spirit and influence to influence you at this time, especially at this trying time. I want you to focus on God this evening, that he will release on you today. The real spirits are fresh. The spirits are fresh. The spirit will grant you the boldness to pray. The confidence to pray that Jesus is listening to you. 
and that your testimonies is guaranteed. Now, as you pray together, lift up your hearts and your hands and celebrate God, who has blessed you with the spirits that raised Jesus from the dead. Say with me prophetically, thank you, Jesus, for blessing me with spirits that raised Jesus from the dead. Thank you, Jesus, for blessing with the Holy Spirit that raised Jesus from the dead. In Jesus' name we pray. Prophesy again and say, as the Spirit raised Jesus, the Spirit will bring to life every dead aspect of my life. As the Spirit raised Jesus, the same Spirit will bring to life every dead aspect of my life, every dead aspect of our nation, every dead aspect of our endeavors. The Spirit that raised Jesus from the dead, oh yeah, bring it to life in the mighty name of Jesus. Now say with me, the Spirit of God who raised Jesus from the dead lives in me. Therefore, I cannot be dejected. The Spirit of God who raised Jesus from the dead lives in me. Therefore, I cannot be dejected. In Jesus' name we pray. Say with me again, the Spirit of God who raised Jesus from the dead lives in me. Therefore, I cannot fail. Therefore, I cannot be disappointed. The Spirit of God who raised Jesus from the dead lives in me. Therefore, I cannot be disappointed. Anything that brings burden and heaviness in the Spirit, hear the Word of God. Anything that brings burden and heaviness in the Spirit, hear the Word of God. The Spirit of God who raised Jesus from the dead lives in me. Therefore, vanish in Jesus' name. Anything that brings burden and heaviness in the Spirit, manifesting in Nigeria, hear the Word of God. The Spirit of God who raised Jesus from the dead lives in me, lives in Nigeria. Therefore, vanish in the name of Jesus. Anything pandemic, whatever name it may be, hear the word of God. The Spirit of God who raised Jesus from the dead is in Nigeria. We decree your end in the name of Jesus. Romans 8, 16 says, As men are led by the Spirit of God are God's children. Declare, I am a child of God. I cannot be enslaved. I am a child of God. I cannot be put to shame. I will not be controlled by negativity. Spirit of error will not consume me. In Jesus' name we pray. We pray for our season. Let's declare, because the spirit of because your spirit will raise Jesus from the dead lives in our season, and members of his family, he will not be tired. Because the spirit of God who raised Jesus from the dead lives in our season, and all members of his family, he will not be tired. All the clergy and of Lagos will not be tired. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Father, we thank you. Because the Spirit of God who raised Jesus from the dead lives everywhere in Nigeria. Our nation is on the path of unprecedented recovery. In the mighty name of Jesus. Anything dead in the lives of your people, Lord, we pray that your Spirit will bring back to life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Raise your prayer points up. Let me pray for you. The Spirit of anything that you have written there will receive the power and glory of God. You will not labor in vain. God is converting those requests to testimonies for you in the name of Jesus. God, please make water to gush out of the rock for your people. May their labor not be in vain. As you sleep tonight, may you sleep well. May you continue to enjoy the power of God. May the glory of God not depart from your family. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Again, I thank you for joining us at this evening segment of the program, Let Us Pray. Please stay tuned to Lagoon Radio and Lagoon Television as you enjoy various spiritual programs. Download the app Lagoon Radio for iOS and Android devices on Apple Store and Google Play Store. Join us also on our Facebook handle at Lagoon Radio Nigeria, on Instagram and YouTube at Lagoon Radio NG. You can also join us for regular live broadcasts on www.youtube.com slash Lagoon TV. On behalf of our diocesan and missioner, the Right Reverend Dr. Humphrey Bamishebi Olumakai, I am the Venerable Oreolua Gbelusi, serving as the Vicar of Osu Church Leki and Ajikin of Leki Ajikiri. Remain blessed and be rapturable in Jesus' name.